Jesus Christ. And now this. A 14-year-old boy is accused of shooting and killing another 14-year-old following a birthday party in Camden. For the... That's terrible. At least this is Camden. This is What's wrong? What's wrong with these kids? Like, no, they just wired differently. They're sons. I know, now it's then, just so a weird. A 14-year-old boy is accused of shooting and killing another 14-year-old following a birthday party in Camden. For the last month, we have been following the investigation into the murder of Damien Allen and his family's fight to find his killer. South Jersey reporter Brandon Goldner has the new details on how investigators track down the suspect. But at the end of the day, I just want justice for him. He deserves justice. Shemaine Allen says her slain son, Damian, is one step closer to receiving that justice. After the Camden County Prosecutor's Office announced Tuesday, they made an arrest in the 14-year-old's murder. His accused killer, also 14 years old. Because of his age, the prosecutor's office is not releasing his name. I can get some sleep, some real sleep now, at least knowing that the person that took my son's life is not still running the streets and living a free life. And Damn. Happy. Some rough looking sister. She done lost. <laughs> she done lost her whole pitch at her head. Hey, that sucks, bro. But what's he throwing up? She like George Jefferson. I don't know what that is. I've never seen that before. That's some gang. That's some local gang. Obviously, he was with the shits. We I, I keep you could see in his ass. Oh shit! This is Jersey. Oh fuck! Yeah, this is right across the road. Now he's so. knowing that the person that took my son's life is not still running the street ain't gonna get no time. a free life and happy life. Investigators say the 14-year-old shot and killed Damian last month outside the Elks Lodge in Camden following a Sweet 16 birthday party. Did Wait they, a minute. Uh, sweet 16 birthday party shot him right outside. Uh, you're right about these newscasters. Got to read these reports every single night. And see the same thing over and over. I wouldn't let my 14 year old go anywhere at night alone in a city like this, anyway. When I was in Memphis, I didn't let my son go outside and play with the children in the neighborhood because they were so ratchet. Well, well, Raj, from what's happening, she, she let her son go out. So that's all that we need to know. She let it, she did. I don't know why she the 14 year old that. shot and killed Damian last month outside the Elks Lodge in Camden following a Sweet 16 birthday party. Prosecutors say towards the end of the party, an argument occurred between some teens, which escalated once they left the lodge. Detectives say the 14 year old suspect pulled out a gun and fired. Oh my God. Damian. Smash. Smash what? You said you said we were look. I told you we were looking for a good looking woman in Philly. Uh, 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 oh no, yeah. crushed. Bria Jones, <laughs> Bria Jones is classy. Yeah, but Bria Jones yeah. ain't ain't rocking. Oh, she Lord. don't. She Bria Jones ain't. Bria ain't, Jones ain't. a Memphis chick. She would got, never wear nothing like this. I got Dallas Star Lizzo. God damn. <laughs> Somebody said smash with a crowbar. <laughs> <laughs> Dash with a waist. You said I said Akala threesomes. Yon, <laughs> chief of detectives Robert Ferris says the stunt I don't community know, you helped the investigators for that one. solve this case. It kind of hit the, the community, and we were able to get a lot of uh, leads from the community. Meanwhile, Alan knows this arrest is only the beginning of what could be a long process to get justice. So she's drawing strength from her children, including Damian. He would go and make sure that everybody was okay and, and, and had strength. So I take that from him as well. He's a very strong 14 year old. He stood on what he believed and he cared for so many. Chief Ferris says they're still investigating Damian's murder. He says there were a lot of people at this birthday party, a lot of potential witnesses, and they're asking anyone with information or who may have seen something to come forward and talk to investigators. We have more information on how you can do that. At Good luck a triple that. shooting in. Good luck with that. Um, wow. <sighs> but that 14 year old might not even do in a jail time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely not. Oh, 
Yeah, yeah. they're going to the Kids Gladiator Academy. Yeah, because yeah, didn't you do a story on another child that was 14 hey, and hey, I, they didn't get him in a jail time because of the laws change? Hey, I, I, yeah. I know I know. usually you stray away from it, but you didn't do Chicago today at all, right? We'll, we'll, we'll do Chicago tomorrow. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, no, that's cool. There's a, a crazy story that happened today, bro. It's, uh, I'll just say it real quick, but you can check it out tomorrow. It's um, a special needs kid got fucking shot in the head. All right, man. Let's, let's, let's yeah, just go Lord. ahead. Let, Shit let's was see. fucked, dude. We'll, we'll, we'll do this one, and then we're going to get out of here, man. Let me see. Yeah, we'll do this one, we'll get out of here, man. Because, uh... She was fucked up when I heard it, man. Yeah, because y'all was being mean to me right, tonight. Right, right there. Yeah. Jesus Regas, father. We... <laughs> <laughs> what you Jesus laughing Regas at? Father says he's here at the hospital tonight after undergoing his first emergency surgery. He's heavily sedated after the boy was shot three times, once in the head while waiting for the school bus this morning. Jesus Riga is supposed to be just months away from graduating high school. That's where both he and his younger brother were trying to go this morning. We were out here waiting for the bus. Apparently three assailants came from that corner over there. And as those three men got close to the dad and his sons, repeatedly yelling, asking if they were in a gang, Philip Riga says... Oh, these are hombritos, man. Nah, I know that area they're in back of the yards. They don't fucking play around there, bro. Okay, so what the special need key was he just caught a crossfire? No, they asked the yeah, they were they ran up on them asking them what they in the game. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Do he look like he could answer that? Look at him. Yeah, man, these little fritos, man. Oh, he don't play that, man. Graduating high school. That's where both he and his younger brother were trying to go this morning. We were out here waiting for the bus. Apparently, three assailants came from that corner over there. And as those three men got close to the dad and his sons, repeatedly yelling, asking if they were in a gang, Philip Riga says he got silently protective. All I do was grab my phone out of my pocket and call 911. And that's when they started shooting. Police what? say a single gunman in the group of three let off. Okay, Rambo. What, what, what should he have done, Rambo? <laughs> Pull a gun and shoot them. Yeah, of course. <laughs> That's when they started shooting. Police say a single gunman in the group of three let off nearly 40 rounds. It was too many. You ready to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a killer that's going to shoot 40 rounds of broad daylight once? Yeah. I feel I, 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 yeah. yeah. I have I to, what's, what's the alternative? Get 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 get, uh, get attacked, get crippled? You know, get beaten? You know, get no, no, I, I feel you. I feel you, but you just got to do it. You gotta I, do it. I made I made I made up my mind on that a long time ago. Okay, okay, great, man. Police say so when they start gun, shooting you, once they see, I'm sorry. Good. I'm gonna say you carry your gun and your holster, right? What yeah. if they seen that and just start blasting? Better they better hit me. Oh, they they will. Just well, that's all, that's all I say, they they fired. Me. They fired forty shots and hit three. <laughs> You might get hit in the shower hey, or something. Hey, I, let me say, because I've been around that area before, and I've heard people going around that area. So there's a it's a it's a Hispanic gang. They're called uh, the Saints. I'm gonna tell you right now, bro. They'll shoot at anyone. Yeah. It's not as that bad right there, bro. You could be passing throughout the night. You might get shot at. I would not go around if you're not from there, bro. If I've been driving at night, I avoid that area at all costs, especially going down that part. Oh, they'll shoot at your car? It, man, they'll shoot at you at night. They don't do a fuck who it is. They, they, I mean, they'll, they'll just assume, you know, you may be someone that they're going against just passing through. That, that's how that's how wild motherfuckers are, bro. That's crazy. That's terrible. Yeah, that's um, uh, that's what they're, they're, they're not bringing them. They're not sending us their best, man. And you saw what happened in California the other day. Executed six people. Yeah. You, you got to understand yeah. this. Uh, there, there's so many, and I tell people that I just want to clear this up too, man. There's so many different gangs in the city that uh, don't like aren't very well known, bro. That is one of the reasons you have most of this shit. You got like 20 different like families or gangs in the city, bro. Just different names and shit. 
Wow. And, 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 and these about? these guys have been here for like years. Like I'm talking like years already. And you live there? No, nah, I don't live in this area. Fuck no. Oh shit. Fuck no. No, no. I, I God, I got blessed. I don't live in this area, man. Especially that part of that area. Fuck no. You live around a bunch of gliders. I'm around a little bit of everybody. But still around a, a lot of Hispanics. I got a lot of Arabs around me, too. Three okay. let off nearly 40 rounds. It was too many for Philip to cover both of his sons, both of whom live with special needs. Three bullets hit Jesus. I was trying to tell him to get down, but he, he didn't understand at the time. And I tried to get to him. And... Jesus Christ. Man, you should have punched your child down. God, he didn't understand. They shot it. They they rolled up on fucking two special needs kids and a, and a father and just started to spray 40 bullets at them for no reason. They supposedly when, live there. I think this was ops from another neighborhood. Why the dad isn't crying? Because if, if they were from this neighborhood, they'd know not. they wouldn't fuck with those special needs kids. Probably ain't sinking yet. You think so? Maybe he's maybe he's um like listen man, this is a lot of they these people have got a lot of a lot of same issues man. I mean, like this is where's a, where, why is he not flanked by a bunch yeah, but, of P pastors and community leaders while he's standing here giving this interview? Cause they don't want to get shot. The Hispanic either. community wouldn't put up with this. From within its own. This this is a Hispanic community, bro. This, yeah, so that yeah. Whole area and, is... and that's why I think it was their ops. Probably. It, it, it was somebody looking for gang members from that community uh, from outside. You, you know, I'm going to be honest. It, it probably isn't those guys in the area. You're right. Because, bro, like, like I'm saying, that other part of 47th Street, if I'm right, it's like some uh, Latin counts or whatever. And then, the, no, not Latin counts. I don't know what it is. Some two six, so whatever. I'm telling you, bro, there's so many of these motherfuckers and so much different shit. That's why everyone gets into it. Everyone thinks it's just, yeah, there's a, there's a lot of other stuff that plays a role, but it's just so fucking different. It's so different. Wow. That's I, I why I tried to get to him as fast as I could. As soon as they stopped shooting, I ran to them and started holding the wound. The Southwest Side neighborhood has been plagued by rising gun violence. Chicago police data shows that in 2022, there were 93 shootings and homicides in the new city community. That's one neighborhood. Oh my How many gosh. people were in your neighborhood this year, um, Mayo? In my neighbor, in my entire city, I think it was 14. How about you? Um, None um, in my Martin? neighborhood. How many shootings were in your neighborhood this year? This year, this year, uh, maybe one. Some, some, some far distance part of the city. Wow! You didn't ask me. Well, oh, come uh, on. I, 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 you live it's, in. You, it's it's eighty six percent white. How many? How many were in your area? Eighty six percent white. <laughs> Side neighborhood has been plagued by rising gun violence. Chicago police data shows that in 2022, there were 93 shootings and homicides in the new city community area, which includes back of the yards. In 2021, it was about the same, but that's a 66% increase from 2019 when there were just 56 shootings and homicides. The alderman- There were just 56 shootings in this one neighborhood in 2019. <laughs> Boy, we had it good. <laughs> <laughs> Shootings and homicides. The alderman who represents the ward says constant gang warfare is terrorizing innocent residents like Jesus Riga. We cannot protect or give cover to these individuals who did this um, because this young man deserves better. Police say neither Philip Riga nor his two sons have any gang affiliation whatsoever. Investigators are now going through surveillance video and following up on tips they've already gotten from the community, trying to track down these three armed assailants. All right, guys. Shows and on that route, on that on that note, man, salute the Dill Brigade, man. Thank you for everybody on the panel. Salute to everybody in the chat, man. See you tomorrow. Peace out.
Good night. Take care, everybody. Keep your power dry. Good night.